I don't know about you guys, but I've been in this mood sometimes where I go into my closet and I really feel like I got nothing to wear, even though I have mounds of clothing to wear. And I so much so that I did a whole video on why it is that when we do look at our closets, we feel that way, that we feel like there's nothing in there. Most of it, it's psychological and mental. And if you haven't watched that video, I'd click up here. But if you're like me, I'm a visual guy, meaning that I need to see results. I need to see it in real life. Not only am I gonna show you why you don't have anything to wear, today I'm gonna show you that you do have something to wear. Today I'm gonna give you 10 outfits that anybody, you and me, can execute when you think you have nothing to wear using the clothing that's already in your wardrobe. And I'm gonna prove it to you. Most of this is just styling. So today, I'm gonna give you these 10 outfits that you can replicate next time you think you got nothing to wear. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. All right, number one, let's start with something super basic. Again, every guy has this outfit in their wardrobe, which is a simple pair of jeans and a t-shirt. You're probably tired of wearing this combo over and over and over again, which is why you feel like you got nothing to wear. So here's an easy way, just give this outfit up some flair. Throw on a flannel over it. This is something most of us have already. These are basic generic items most of us have. If your t-shirt's just too basic, throw on a layer on top of it. It'll completely change it or wear it a little bit different by tying it around your waist to completely change up the look. Number two, let's get rid of the t-shirt. Let's get rid of the sneakers. I call this the tuck and roll. So we're gonna roll up the jeans. We're gonna roll up the sleeves of the t-shirt and then we're gonna tuck the t-shirt and then roll it out a little bit. This all of a sudden just makes it seem like we're putting more effort into our outfit and it's just basic styling. It's the same basic outfit and now to top it off instead of wearing your basic sneakers that you would usually opt for, let's dress it up. Choose a dressier pair of shoes that's made in leather whether it's a loafer or a dress shoe to instantly dress up an outfit that otherwise would be casual. Now let's really make it casual. Again we're back to the basic outfit but let's say maybe you're traveling today but you don't want it to be your basic t-shirt and jeans. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna throw on a baseball cap like a dad hat. These are trending and again, just adds more of an athletic vibe to it. And since we're under that athletic theme, why not throw some athletic trainers? Now we're adding some sort of an athleisure vibe to the same exact outfit just by changing a few pieces in the styling process that's not only comfortable but also easy to wear. Then to really just kind of knock it out the ballpark if you really just want to step it outside the box, here I'm carrying a leather Hold off from our sponsor Mahi just to show you what accessories can do. Boys, when you have something simple like this and you throw on a nice leather backpack or you carry a leather hold all like this, it just completely shoots out your style out the roof because it's, it's a style move or a styling technique not most will put into play. Again, this is a great traveling outfit. It's super comfortable and stylish. And with this hold all, it pretty much kills it. Now this leather hold all from Mahi Leather is completely new. It's something that they just released. And what I love about it, it's kind of like a two in one. So on top, it's like your basic duffel bag, but on the bottom, it's a structured, almost mini carry on. So if you're traveling, this is the perfect combination where you can put structured pieces on the bottom and stuff your daily wear on top of the duffel bag and you got a stylish hold all that literally holds everything. Now the cool thing with Mahi Leather from their backpacks to their dop kits to their hold alls and duffel bags is that everything is handmade boys. This is super high quality stuff that also includes free shipping worldwide when you spend over a hundred bucks. Even though it is handmade, it's affordable. If you've never checked out their website boys, it's going to be linked down below. Also for every product you buy, portion of that gets donated to the Frank Water Foundation to help people in need get access to clean water. So not only are you getting a great product, you're also going to be helping other people out. I have multiple Mahi leather bags because I love the quality of them. You can also customize them with your own personal initials and also you get one year full warranty on this bag because that's how much they trust this quality. Even though they're affordable, these things are going to last. If you guys want to check them out to help your styling out, they're gonna be linked down below. Let's start with another basic outfit, something everybody has, and that's jeans and a hoodie. A super common combo. I've probably seen thousands of guys pull this same outfit off, meaning you probably have this outfit in your wardrobe as well. If this is feeling boring to you, let's switch it up by again throwing a layer. Just like the t-shirt, if you put another layer on top of it, it's gonna add a little bit more dynamic to your outfit, making it look more stylish. Putting a denim jacket adds a great contrast to the cotton hoodie that in my opinion looks super stylish. Now since we're elevating the look on this, we're gonna swap the shoes, then put on your basic shoes and 
instead we're going to swap him on for some Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots is a dressier alternative that in my opinion makes the outfit look better. Remember that flannel thing that we just did with the t-shirt? Well, we could do that again. That's right, with the hoodie. If you swap that denim jacket out for a flannel, it completely changes out the vibe of that exact same look. You could swap the Chelsea boots for some simple white sneakers or another type of sneaker that you choose. For example, Air Force Ones. And this, again, is a completely different outfit. Again, if you look at it, it's the same base that we started with. Makes you feel like you have nothing to wear. However, adding a few styling pieces here and there that most of us have already, now you look like a stylish dude that knows what they're doing. And finally, boys, let's dress it up a bit. That's right, you can. If you swap the jeans out for some chinos and then pair that with some Vans old schools, you can take away the flannel. Now you got a simple outfit, but you did one thing different. Since nobody else is thinking of this stuff, it makes you feel like you got nothing to wear, but you're just using the same pieces you already have in a different manner. Throughout this video, you're noticing, oh, I don't have this or I don't have that. You can easily just start making lists of things or essentials you need in your wardrobe. If you guys download Shop Tagger, which I've told you a million times to do so, if you like style and shopping online, you should not be shopping online without Shop Tiger on your browser or on your phone. But the beauty of it is that when you're watching videos like this or you're browsing the web and you see something you like, you start tagging them and creating lists to save these products accordingly. Then when you have extra spending cash, you go back to your list and you buy the items that you need. You buy strategically instead of splurging on items you don't. Whenever an item goes on sale or gets restocked, you get emailed. That way you get reminded to buy that item and sometimes I've saved myself up to 80% off. Even better, they have a beta version right now that while you are shopping and you have ShopTagger in your web browser, on the top right corner, it's gonna let you know if that website has any discounts available so you can get it even more affordable. This is why I'm telling you boys, you should not be doing it without ShopTagger. It's a free app, so what are you waiting for? Click the link down below. Now let's move on to the next outfit. Again, something super simple that everybody has in their wardrobe, and that would be basketball shorts and an oversized tee. This is your not trying days, and again, makes you feel like you got nothing to wear. But a few styling moves and tweaks to this style, you're gonna see that you can really change the look of it. Those slides, man, they're embarrassing. It really looks like you're not putting effort, so just swap those out for some nice leather sneakers. Again, it's, it's not a lot more effort, and it looks astronomically better. And then take out that raggedy old t-shirt, and if you still wanna be comfortable, throw on an oversized sweater. This is a move that not most people will see coming, and again, because not many are doing it, might look really good on you. Or number two, you could swap that oversized sweater for a hoodie and then throw on some tube socks. Tube socks are great to really give you some more classic styling, but even better, it gives definition to your calf. It gives the illusion that you have thicker, juicier hamstrings and calves, which just makes you look more athletic. Then for sneaker wear, you can pair it with whatever you feel more comfortable, but a good basic or casual that you probably own are something like Air Force One. And then finally, boys, you can try an athletic look, something that looks like you did it on purpose because you're going to the gym. Some long socks, some trainers like the Flyknit Racer, and some sort of muscle tee or a shirt that fits your body properly instead of being oversized, this makes it look like you're more athletic, like an athlete that's going to the gym and it's about to kill it. This type of look doesn't look like you're lazy, but instead, like you did it with intent. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are 